and welcome to the Tavern Chat Podcast. I am your host, Eric Tankar, your bartender in the OSR, your main proprietor at the Tankar's Tavern Blog. I'd like to welcome you all. I think we're going to start something new today. We are going to turn Fridays. Today is Friday as I record this. We are going to turn Fridays into... uh, A freebie Friday. Not a freaky Friday. But a freebie Friday. I'm going to go over free releases that you can pick up in the OSR. I will include links to everything in the blog post that goes along with this. But most of this can be found on RPG Now. Some on Lulu. A few are harder to find, but you'll be able to. You can Google them. But like I said, I I will definitely put links out for all of this stuff. But before we dive into that, we got a voicemail from Tim Shorts about the Ennies. I'd like to address that, and then we'll dive in. Back in a moment. Hey, Eric. Tim Shorts here. A uh, little bit about the Ennies. I kind of did a podcast about this a little bit ago. I mean, every award is going to have issues it doesn't matter what they do I, I remember a few years ago when they had the whole issues with the judges and all that bullshit and now they're complaining about stuffing boxes and when they do the new thing people are going to bitch about how that's done i mean the innies themselves don't really reflect my buying stuff anyways it's it's cool to see all the osrs was really happy to see like cecil howe win and really glad to see glenn seal win so it, it, seeing that definitely makes me pay more attention to it since I see the people that I'm already interested in winning. But would it make me go out and buy them? No, but they're there and I'm glad they won. So hopefully uh, whatever they do improves the situation. So, all right, Eric, keep up the good work. Yeah, Tim, well, we our, our ideas of the Ennies are pretty much... On par, and, and although I don't think that winning a gold or a silver any will make a difference in my purchasing uh, habits, it does for a lot of people. Overall, putting that gold or silver on the cover of your product and being able to say that in your uh, RPG Now splash page, it affects sales. It really does. It has. It, it does do something. Now, before I delve into what I'm going to delve into, uh, I kind of had a. I don't know if you can call this a review or just a really nice statement about this podcast, but uh, this came up on the Discord channel yesterday. I listen to his podcast, meaning this podcast, Tank Cars podcast, every morning. Sometimes I think it's NPR. Till the F bomb drops, then I remember I am in geek heaven instead. Oh, you see, the fucking F bombs, they make it real. I, I didn't know I was uh, that close to NPR. You know, hey, I, I could try a more monotone voice, I guess. In any case, in any case, back to the topic at hand, which is free OSR rule sets. We're going to delve into some of the fantasy ones. There's a lot. They are a lot. I do have uh, a page up at the tavern that will list all these and more. I also have free sci-fi rule sets up. It's a much smaller list. I'll go over that later. Uh, other rule sets, it, it was good because uh, Pex yesterday gave me a list of pretty much dead links on the blog, and it reminded me that some of these lists that I had planned on putting together never got done, so I shall do that. But the fantasy list is by far going to be the largest. I'm not going to get through it all today. I'm going to pick and choose through it for the most part. But these are things that you should just keep an eye out for. These are free. That's the whole point. Swords and Wizardry, my baby to some extent, because I put together the Swords and Wizardry Light with help from James Spahn and Zach Laser. Uh, Swords and Wizardry comes in four officially supported flavors. Uh, they're either supported by Frog God Games or by Matt Finch himself. Swords and Wizardry Light. 
which is the four page rules. So it's a three white box, which is pretty much a clone of original D and D white box. So it's a three core, which is white box with the first supplement, and then so it's a three complete. Uh, it is original white box D and D with material from the first couple of supplements. I feel it plays very close to AD and D first edition to me, but to each their own. Labyrinth Lord. Labyrinth Lord comes in uh, two official flavors that are free. Labyrinth Lord Revised Edition, which is a clone of Basic Expert, the X. An advanced edition companion. Now, this pretty much adds in the 1E classes and monsters to Labyrinth Lord. It is not a complete game. You need the Labyrinth Lord Revised Edition to play it. They work well together. They are free and no art versions. If you want the art with it, there's a nominal cost. If you want print, obviously, you got to pay for print. They also have original edition characters, which is their kind of white box. However, that's three ninety five in PDF. It is not free. Osric. Osric is your clone of one E. It it is a streamlined first edition that pretty much jettisons the rules that the vast majority of us never use because we never understood. Keep that in mind. Basic fantasy. Basic fantasy is uh, I think it's less really of a clone, but it's a really good system. It takes the D20 SRD, uh, the 3.5 version of, of 3E, and it heavily rewrites it to emulate uh, basically, I guess, basic expert D&D. Uh, the stuff is all available for free. All the releases for this at uh, basicfantasy.org. Also, you can go to Amazon and you can get this stuff damn cheap. The rules themselves are like less than five dollars. That's I checked. Uh, you can get really complete adventure packages, and I believe there's a monster book out. And the prices are ridiculously cheap on Amazon. I'll include a link to the Amazon just in case you're interested. I'm going to be skipping through. If you look at the page, you can see I'm skipping through this. I'm skipping through this because I'm, I'm trying to deal more with stuff that also I know. Delving Deeper is another white box clone. It is, uh, in theory, a closer emulation of the original fantasy rules than... Um, towards the three white box. I have it. They're certainly put together well. I haven't played it. No, you should note that I obviously I own a lot of rules that I will never play. But uh, just putting that out there. Lamentations of the Flame Princess Weird Fantasy Role Playing. The first printing of these rules. The first the first incarnation of these rules. Um. Limitation of Flame Princess Rules and Magic uh, are available as a free, no-art version. Now, since it's a no-art version, it is probably appropriate for most, if not all, ages. If you went with the art version, you'd be seeing things like male penises. <coughs> but that's Lamentations. So we, we won't go there. Dark Dungeons. Dark Dungeons has been referred to by some as kind of a reworking of the rule cyclopedia for D and D. It's just a great name because it, it, it takes its name from the uh, Jack trick Jack Chick tracks. And you can't go wrong with that. Uh the Myth and Magic Starter Guide. Myth and Magic was to be uh an a pretty complete and pretty well done a clone or update to the second edition of AD&D. This is a Kickstarter that went off the fucking rails. The creator pretty much turtled up on the criticism of not getting his shit out. 
He's the one that decided to uh, post my shipping details as a comment on the Kickstarter because of how I was hounding him. I contacted Kickstarter on a weekend and got them to remove it, which is pretty impressive. And he got a little bit of a reprimand. When my copy of the Player's Handbook or Player's Guide arrived, I was I, I actually opened it up in my backyard, afraid that I might have a you know, large amount of anthrax or some other kind of product <clears throat> included in the mailing envelope it came in. I, it, it didn't. But the starter guide is still up. It's worth grabbing if you can. Uh, there are, if you can find the Myth and Magic Player's Guide, the uh, hardcovers out there, uh, it's going to be in the aftermarket. I'm sure he's sitting on a bunch in his living room that he never shipped. But hey, who am I to say, right? Um, Crimson Dragon Slayer. This is put out by Vanker Santanis. Uh, it's old school in feel, not necessarily old school in system, but it's, it's ultra light and Vanguard does put together just good stuff. Even if I find that some of it is tasteless, but Hey, um, sharp swords, center and sinister spells. This has gotten really good feedback by people online. It's got really good reviews. It's another game that is inspired by the OSR, but the actual rules are a little bit different. But it's, it's got a good feel. Uh, the Majestic Fantasy RPG. Uh, this is by Rob Conley, Bat in the Attic. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a full release just yet. But it's based off sort of with Recore, and it's classes and stuff that fit into his Majestic Fantasy setting. Two things of quick note, Swords and Shapeshifters, Fiends and Falchions. These are actually up at the Blood of Procopius blog. These are... Uh, Riffs or rips on Swords and Wizardry Continue Light. They are a different take on it. They are available for free. They're good to check out. Enjoy. Fantastic Heroes and Witchery Retro RPG. It's another clone of, or it's another reworking of the earlier editions. It pulls stuff from anywhere from basic to, I think, 2E. Uh, it's pretty damn good. Really can't complain. Pendragon. Pendragon uses a system kind of similar to what you're going to find in uh, Call of Cthulhu and RuneQuest. It, it, the, the roots are similar. But uh, this is the first edition of Pendragon. I had it in the box set in my earlier days. It's available for free on RPG Now. Um, Iron Falcon. Iron Falcon is... I hope it is available for free. Here, I'm going to do one of those other things. Like i got to look it up because <clears throat> it is available for free. Iron Falcon is by Chris Gonnerman. He's the same main person behind Basic Fantasy RPG. This is his uh, white box version. It's very well done. I actually have it in soft cover. But the PDF is free. So I suggest that you grab it. Like everything else I've mentioned here, mm -hmm. everything is free. Like I said, I'll include it. Go to the Ten Cars Tavern blog. Go to the postings for today, August 17th, 2018. There'll be links to all of these. Those links will, in most cases, include affiliate links. That's what's going to RPG Now. Um, that just means that if you download it for free and you make a purchase in the next week or so on RPG Now, I will get a small uh, token of your appreciation as an, uh, as an affiliate monies. Okay, but 
truth in advertising. I like to make sure everybody knows that there are affiliate links being used when they are. All right, that's about all I'm going to get into today. I don't want to make this too long an episode. Like I said, it's just an overview. These are things for you to think about. Check out. They're all free. And like I said, they will be all linked in the podcast. Uh, next Friday, maybe I'll continue with fantasy, or maybe I'll, I'll hop over to the, uh, the uh, science fiction stuff. All right, folks. Again, thank you for joining. Thank you for listening. If you're on iTunes, we'll greatly take a review. It can only help us. And if you like what you've uh, been listening to over the last 90-plus episodes, if you told me you've been here since the beginning, um, you can support us either via the uh, Patreon or you can support right in the uh, Anchor. Go to the Anchor website for this uh, episode and you can support us. It all helps. Thank you. God bless. Be safe. Roll your dice well. And I will talk with you all on the flip side. Later.